Hello everyone. For today's lesson, we're going to look at the uh, continue statement, the break statement, and we're going to look at label loops, how to use label loops. So uh, first, um, let's take a look at um, the continue statement. But before that, um, I just want to show you, you, you have, have seen the break statement before in the switch statement in our lesson when we went over the switch statement um, we use the break statement to break out of the switch statement so whenever it hit a break statement it goes outside of the switch statement and it goes to the next statement following the switch statement so so basically the break statement works pretty much the same for the loops so let's take a look at that. Um, today we're just gonna start by creating a new program, a new Java class. And we're gonna name it continue break label loops. Okay, and I wanna check this box here click finish so let's start with the continue statement and do this out just gonna print and I'm gonna say continue statement example and I'm gonna use it with a for loop so I'm gonna do for integer i equals to zero i less than ten we're gonna do i plus plus okay then for each i I'm gonna print out I'm gonna print out The value of i. So let's try this first before we put in the uh, continue statement. So let's see how it looks without the continue statement. So basically it's just printing the value of i on each line, one on every line from 0 to 9. Now if I put in the continue statement say if i is equal to 5 continue now let, let's run this you can see what happened it goes from i0 zero equals 0 1 2 3 4 as soon as i is equal to 5 it does the continue so it's not gonna move to the next statement but it goes back to the front of, of the loop and it's gonna go down again so when i is 5 it goes up here and it does i equal i plus 1 i plus plus so then now i is 6 and then and then it goes down since i is 6 it's not gonna execute the statement it's gonna go to here so then it printed 6. So, so the only statement that it skipped is when i is 5. That's when it goes back to the top of the loop and it skipped this statement. Other than that, everything else, it goes through the entire loop and it prints out i on each line. So that's how the, the uh, continue statement works. Now let's take a look at the break statement. If I put in the break statement I'm gonna run it and we'll see the difference so with the break statement when you run it it breaks as soon as it hit i equal 5 so it did i equal 0 1 2 3 4 fine as soon as it hits i equal 5 it breaks out of the loop so 
it went to the next statement after the loop, which in this case, we don't have anything after the loop, so it ended the program. But if you have, let's say if you have another statement here, you say sys out, goodbye, then it would have executed that statement. There you go. So as soon as it hits I equal five, it's not gonna do any more anything else after that. It exit out. So as soon as hit this one, it exited out of the loop and it execute the statement after the for loop, which is the uh, goodbye statement. So that's how the uh, continue statement works, and that's how the break statement works inside of the for loop. And you can use this inside of a for loop or a while loop or any other loop. Um, the break statement in the loop is very similar to the switch statement because uh, in the switch statement when you hit the break it also exit out of the uh, switch statement and it does the, the statement that follows the switch statement. Um, the next thing I want to go over is to see how label loops work. So um, for that I'm just gonna maybe I'll, I'll just copy over the uh, multiplication table that we just did not too long ago. Um, that was which program was that? That was the nested loop. So I'm just gonna copy this over. This is our nested loop example where we did the multiplication table and let me get rid of all these okay so before we make any changes I'm just gonna run this so you see how the output looks like it just prints the multiplication table now um, the reason I want to copy this is I want to show you when you do the break say like if you have you have two different loops here right like a nested loops and if you say if I equals to five break so, so how, how would it know to break out of which loop? So um, let's see if I run this, let's see how it looks like. So as you can see, it went through i equal 1, i equal 2. So each row is i, right? So i equal 2, i equal 3. This row is i equals to 4. And when i is 5, when i is 5, it did a break, but it it break out of the inner loop. So it, it's finished the inner loop, and then it did the print line. Then it goes back to the outer loop. It did not break out of the outer loop. It, it, it break out of the inner loop. So that's why it continue with 6. 7, 8, and 9. Now if we had done the continue statement here, let's see what happened. This is interesting because it looks exactly the same as the break. And the reason for that is because for this iteration, when i is 5, when you go through this loop, i is always 5. So i is 5 when j is 1, but i is also 5 when j is 2. So every time it goes through the j loop, when i is 5, it keeps going back to here. So it did not print the whole line. So in this case, the continue and the break works the same. But the continue and the break, they, they all work 
uh, with the inner loop here. So now, how would you break out of the outer outer loop? If say say if you want if i is five, you just want to exit out of the outer loop, not just the inner loop but the outer loop. So to do that, you would need to label the loops. So say if I say outside, so I'm gonna label this loop outside, and I'm gonna label the in the loop inside so so if I want to break out of the uh, inner loop I would say break inside and let's run that and this should work the same way as before because the default is to break out of the inner loop so you get the same result as before Look what happened if I say break outside. And you can see that it, it has exited the outer loop because um, it just did i equal 1, i equal 2, i equal 3, i equal 4, and then as soon as it hit i equal 5, break out of the outside loop because uh, it uses this label here and this label has to match this label here and that tells it which loop to break out of so in this case it break out of the outside loop and it goes to the next statement following the outside loop so if I have another statement here after the outside loop if I say goodbye it would have executed that statement so as soon as it reaches 5 it exit out of this loop and it does the next statement which is to print the word goodbye alright so that's how the continue statement, the break statement, and the label loops work in Java. Thank you, everyone.